I've always loved sport. It's always been a huge part of my life um, since I was a little kid. My coach is my dad, Dave. But he, he got me into the hammer throw when I was about 11 or 12, I think. And yeah, that was something that I'd never heard of. He kind of just bought a hammer home one day and was like, I've got your present. <laughs> It's not something that anyone just clicks with. It's, it's a really unnatural movement, and so it's definitely one of those sports that the people that have put their 10,000 plus hours in are the ones that are doing well at it. So just before um, the cutoff for the qualification period for the Rio Olympics, Dad and I were over in Europe um, kind of chasing competitions. Managed to get a PB, but was still 25 centimetres short of the qualifying standard. And so that was like, just not a good feeling, cause you know, you've, you've given it everything, and, it's, it wasn't even that you were in a big competition and you didn't do well, it was kind of like you didn't even make it to that. This time around was definitely like the revenge tour, just really wanted to get it done. Dad was just like, look, you just need to relax, like you're just trying way too hard, like you, you know you're in good shape. First throw was just like, get it between the lines, get a mark on the board um, and just relax and absolutely smoked it. So through 73.40 I think the first round. So that was 90 centimetres over that automatic qualifier and it was my save throw. I didn't know that it had gone that far and I was just kind of like, oh, it's in. <laughs> Went to see dad and I was like, wait, what? what's that mark? Like, <laughs> excuse me? Sharing that moment with my dad um, was just so special because it's like both of our Olympics, it's not just mine. He's been with me the whole journey um, and so I just kept kind of whispering to him while I was over at the coaching stand, I was just like, we're going to Tokyo dad, we're going to Tokyo. Being a woman in a power sport is really important to me. If you're like a, a strong kid or like a bigger kid, actually you can be really successful and you can, it's not about how you look, it's kind of what you can do with, with the machine that you're building.